Hey there guys, it's Arsis, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a Minecraft server. Um, the 1.2 came out like a few days ago, so it's relatively, relatively new. So now you're going to go to this webpage um, that's going to be on the, in the description, and you're going to download this. We're going to keep it, and we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. Called... Whatever, mate. So, you're gonna drag that in, and you're gonna get it without the four, because I've done this several times. And you're gonna get it like that. You should. Now, you're going to want to make a new text document, and you're gonna go to start. You're gonna open it up, and you're gonna go into this, the description of the video, and get this code that I wanna get from my other server. This for the 32 bit, I also get for the, for the 64. So, you're gonna get this. If it's for the GRE, it's for Java 6. So, I don't know what version you have, change it. So, you're gonna save that. You're gonna go file, save as. You go all files. You're gonna call it start. Don't bad. This is gonna make it a batch file, which is gonna access Java and make it a server. So, you're gonna go save. This can go off. This is my other server. And you're gonna be left with this icon. Now, you're going to double click on the jar file itself, and these should pop up. Okay, so now you're going to open the ops file, you're going to type in your Minecraft username, and you're going to open up, not this server, not this one with all lots of text, you're going to open the server properties. If it doesn't let you open it with a text document, just try open with... You know, but it should automatically come with a set of properties, with the text document. So you're gonna get this, and you're gonna change all the things as I say. Well, I'll tell you how they work. So you're gonna have the nether, which set to true. And you're going to, that's allowed people to go to the nether with a nether portal. You're gonna have level name, well, that's the folder that's gonna be created here. You're gonna have the server port, don't touch that. Alright, now we're gonna be doing this with port forwarding. So, I'm gonna go type in cmd in the run um, ip config. Now, um, that's done. You're gonna get your ip config IP, I, ipv4. Um, you're gonna type it in. You're gonna type in your gateway. Now, you're gonna, my, my, the default for mine is admin, so you can get in. Now, you're gonna go to forwarding this for port forwarding and basically this is for my only tp link but you it'll you'll find something like that like for neck gear i've had neck gear you're gonna go port forwarding now you're gonna make a f an add new you're gonna type in 25565 you're gonna type in your ipv4 address which for me is 1.92 that one and you're gonna make one for tcp and one for udp same thing as in same the same apply like what i have over here over there. So, that's done. That's that's making the port available. Now you're going to close that. And you're going to type in your IPv4. IPv4. Or the... That's what you should find on your IP config. And, um... 1.2.1.03. That's mine. Now you're going to have the max build height, which is 256. Um, you can also do this with Hamachi. Which is available for some people. Which is that. You just type in that. But I'm not going to use how much. It's so good. So now you're going to use max build height 256. I'm going to go spawn NPCs true. Whitelist false. Spawn animals true. Make them. Now this is very important. Online mode. Now false will allow people with hacked clients to get in. True will only, people only, will only allow people with paid clients to get in. Because it's false. PvP true. Difficulty 1 to 4. PvP is basically when you can hit each other, like PvP play versus play. Difficulty 1 to 4, 1 being beginner, 4 being as it is implied, um, harder. 0, game mode 0 meaning survival, 1 being creative, max players are to 5 or so. Spawn monsters is true, generate structure is true, and you're gonna have message of the day, MOTD, message of the day. We're gonna just put that. So now, everything should be ready, and ready to rock and roll. And 
didn't work. Now, once that happens, all you're going to want to do is um, restart your computer and run it again, as I'm going to show you in a few moments. Hey there, guys, I'm back. I've just restarted my computer and going to open my folder and run and run the server. Should work. Everything works fine. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, this should work. This is called port forwarding. Um, if you want to do it with Hamachi, go, in, go for it. Just change the IP. So now what you're going to want to do is, once you've done the port forwarding and everything, made your port free, that's for if you have any problems with the port, um, what you're going to do is, you're going to go to close this, you want to minimize it, or close it for now, because we're going to make some changes. You're going to go to server properties and you're going to change the server IP to what you have in Logme and Hamachi, which is here. On a map to make your network, so your friends and your friends have to be added to the network to join. So now, let's copy the IP. Let you find on how much and that one only. So you can save that. I'm gonna close it. You can run it, and it works fine. And once again, it works. Okay, so now you're just gonna go to Minecraft and you're going to open your multiplayer and you're gonna make a add new server. You're gonna call it whatever you want. And you're gonna put the server address to right, to your how much address. So that's done. And here we are. This we can delete. And there you are, here's your server. Same as same one as before, you know, so um that's basically it. So um the building height's over. The normally can build higher than the clouds as you can see. So um as always guys like, comment, rate and subscribe. It helps and well, um just gonna leave you guys with a Minecraft server. Hope it helps. Um share this if your friends need to know about how to do this. And well, um, I'll see you next time.